lately I have been thinking about my tree houses that I'm going to build. And this certain tree I was going to use, it's questionable as to what it is. One person said these are poplars, but they don't have really deep roots. And so I'm looking at what else can I use. And I've got a few, not too many, but really nice size white pines. So here is one pretty substantial. And here is kind of an accompanying, not as big white pine. And looking at those and saying, how could I, you know, could I build a treehouse in there? Certainly, yes, from just two of them. Two are possible because you can put a yoke on each tree to widen your, your beam supports out. And of course, I'm a welder, so I would have no problem making those. But this is a quite nice white pine. So I think also this field out here, there's one field on this property. I will at some point start pasturing that with different critters, not, not to eat them, not to milk them. I'm not looking to milk, but just to have critters around. And so I could bring the pasture close by this treehouse, and there'd be, you know, if the, if the fencing came up to say in this area, you'd have animals right by the this treehouse anyway, which I think might be nice for people. Now here's another pretty substantial white pine. Which I could build an interesting tree house and make it circular and attach it to the whole circumference of the lower section of the tree. I could go up about 10 feet and keep everything round and have a, a ramp that was circular around the, on the outside drip edge of the platform. So it would be suitable for handicap. And I think a quite nice treehouse could be built here. Now the only problem is that right over in this area, I am planning to put in a pole barn and might not be suitable as there'll be potentially trucks coming in and out, um, other people who maybe I'll have uh, pottery classes, that kind of thing. So, it wouldn't be as private, but it would be very accessible to things like electric, water, bathroom, that kind of thing. So in regards to building a steel structure to go around this tree and then use the tabs, the treehouse attachment bolts, to attach to the tree. I could either do an octagonal design or if I could find somebody that can roll I-beams in the area. So that would be a plan here. Now there's other substantial pines on the land that could be utilized and it doesn't have to be all pines but I think I'm going to stay away from these poplars as their root structure is pretty shallow. 
Now, for all I know, everything is shallow here because of the geography of the soil. It's basically topsoil and then shale and then clay. And that's why it's so poorly drained. But I think I could make it work here with at least three tree houses in this fairly immediate area. And here's another pretty substantial white pine right over there that could be used for a nice treehouse again. Somebody put a uh, a hunting hmm, platform up in the tree years ago and left it there, but. Again, it could be more of a um, more of a circular or uh, attached to the tree and then bring it out and put a post in somewhere for the rest of the platform, or maybe even two posts. There doesn't seem to be a suitable tree to accompany this one for a treehouse platform. So I could put a yoke on this tree and then, I don't know, maybe two posts out farther, maybe in this direction. There's tons of ways to build a platform. So, Whatever's the best is what I'll do. So that's three tree houses in pretty much the immediate area. And there's others farther away. So if somebody wanted even more privacy. Now this one is interesting because the driveway would go right by there. So we could put a little parking spot in here. And people could do their overnights in this tree house and have their vehicle right here. Anyway, that's it for now. And there's obviously plenty of other places to build a tree house. Um, the, the TV show Um, treehouse masters. I've seen them put their tabs on some pretty small trees and then use accompanying posts farther out. Anyway, I'm going to put this phone away because it's raining. It's kind of drippy, sloppy snow. So over and out.